Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Pintree to approve the invoices. So, uh, whenever we receive an invoice from the vendors, uh, in finance we review the invoice and then we route it to the managers for their approval and once the invoice is approved by the manager, we process the payment. So when we uh, route the invoice to the managers, you as a manager, you receive an email, something similar to this one. The email will, uh, uh, will show the a PID number for the invoice. It will also, those, also show the vendor's name, the total amount, and some other information. And it will also give you a link where you can click and it will take you to the pin tree or also you can uh, log in to your uh, pin tree box using your user ID and password. So once you're logged in, you will see a list of all the invoices pending your approval. So in this case, there's only one invoice for the PID number, this PID number uh, is from this vendor and you can see some other information as invoice date, the due date and the amount. So if you want to approve it, you need to click here, the PID number and then it will take you to this page. In this page, you will see a scan copy of the invoice itself and it, the system gives you an option of printing it, downloading it, or you can also rotate it if you want. And let's rotate this and zoom it out. And you can scroll down to see the, all the detail of the invoice. Uh, if you scroll up and you will see some information here, so this information are all coming from the invoice itself. It shows the vendor name. There are some information about the invoice itself, like invoice number, invoice amount, invoice date, and the due date of the invoice. But as a manager, you have nothing to do with this part because the final department is filling out this information but you can just review it to make sure that all the information here is matching the uh, information on the invoice but as the manager you need to code it and approve the invoice to do that you need to scroll down and come to this section you can see a button here Saying add new coding. So you need to click here, add new coding, and here you will see the company name. You don't need to change it because it will pick your company name by default. And here you need to uh, find the most appropriate account where you want to code this invoice to. In this case, as you can see, we have uh, around 2,503 accounts in my list. And I need to find that which account is the right account where I want to code this invoice to. So since I know that this is an an invoice from the insurance company and I know that we code the insurance insurance invoices uh, in an account called insurance so I can type insurance here or I can I know this is called prepaid insurance and then all the prepaid accounts pop up here and we have three accounts starting with prepaid and I can pick the right account. And I know that we are coding all the prepaid insurance in this account, uh, in this account, 1610. 
and I can select click on that and select the the account. I can all, also if I don't know the name of the account, I can also go and see and check all these accounts one by one and take the right account for my invoice. But of course you will not see a total of 2503 accounts because you did you don't have access to all these accounts and probably you may see around 100 to 200 accounts and you can go and select the the right account for for this invoice and you if you don't know the name of the account but you know the account code or the account number you can also search by account code for example i know that that we code this invoice in the account number 1610 so if i write down 1610 it will filter all the accounts uh, by the number and all the accounts starting with 1610 will pop up here and i can just select the right account the next boxes i need to write down a short description of what this expenses for for example i know that it is a health insurance for the month of march of 2020 and uh, also I can write down or I need to write down the amount and uh, as you can see here from the invoice the total amount is three thousand five hundred twenty dollars and fifty cents so I can write down the amount here and click add so by clicking add now I can see the list of the the account it also gives me an option of going back and editing if I want to change something or I can delete it, this coding and just make a new coding. Sometimes some of the invoices are not coded into only one account and it needs to be coded into more than one account. If we want to code it into more than one account, we can just uh, click here, add new coding and the same boxes will appear and then we can take another code but the the important point is that the total of all the accounts like this one the coding total must match the amount on the invoice and it should also match this amount right here which is invoice amount so if this amount does not match the total of the coding amount the system will not let us process the payment so once you're done with the coding now you need to approve it if this invoice is within your approval limit you can just click here approve and then it will be approved and it will come back to the finance department and finance department will uh, process the payment but if it is above your approval limit then you need to approve it and route it to your manager who has a higher approval limit so uh, if it is above your uh, approval limit just click here above and route but if it's within your approval limit, then just click approve. But if you find out that it is not something wrong with the invoice or you don't want the invoice to be paid, then you also have an option of re rejecting it. And if you want to reject an invoice, you don't need to code it because we are not going to pay or the system does not allow us to process a payment for an invoice which is rejected by the manager uh, if you go up there's 
one good feature right here route if you don't if something is wrong with this invoice or if you figure out some of the information is uh, not correct here or if you want if you don't want to reject it but if you want to edit something on the invoice or if you think that this invoice is not related to you or if it was routed to you by mistake then you can route it, click here and route it to someone else you can route it to one of your colleagues or you can also route it to the final department as well and uh, by doing this you're not you don't approve anything but you just uh, route the invoice back to someone else so that's it once you approve it, approve and route it or reject it, or even if you route it, then you're done with that and uh, it will come back to the finance and we will process with the payment. Uh, I don't want to approve it or reject, reject it now because it's only for the test purpose, but if you click one of these, it will just disappear from the screen. But if you click reject, it will ask you to just put a short description of why you reject this invoice. It will, uh, and nothing else will happen, and then you're you're all done, and now you can sign out, and uh, that's it. Thank you.